Thinking of making a move to Naperville, Illinois? Well, today I'm in downtown Naperville. I'm gonna show you all the awesome shopping, restaurants, the best neighborhoods that surround the downtown area, and of course, the beautiful landscape. What is up everybody? This is Austin Weiss. I'm your go-to real estate resource here in Naperville, Illinois. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos all about what it's like to work, eat, live, and play right here in Naperville and the Chicagoland area. Today's video is gonna be everything you need to know about living, eating, playing right here in downtown Naperville. I'm actually right downtown right now walking on the iconic Riverwalk and we're gonna take you through all the different shopping, restaurants, neighborhoods, and anything else you need to know about living in downtown Naperville. Built only a few years ago, I'm walking down Water Street in downtown Naperville. It's got some fantastic restaurants such as 64 Wine Bar, Santo Cielo up on the fifth floor that overlooks the landscape of downtown Naperville, and some fat, fantastic shopping such as Trails and Tides, London Sky, and Sparrow Coffee. I'm standing on front Charleston Road. These luxury townhouses are built just across the street from Water Street, and they're about a quarter mile down the road from Naperville Central High School and Rotary Hill, so it's a fantastic location. Um, these townhouses go for just over a million dollars. Um, they're three stories, they have a two-car garage in the back, and they're just really, really great find if you can get one available. Just off of Washington, as you can see behind me, is the original Nichols Library. They've since converted it into the Central Park Place townhouses, which are currently still under construction, and you can get into these condo condos for a cool $1.1 million. These, these condos go to Naperville North High School, just on the other side of downtown Naperville, and it backs up right to Central Park. I'm standing in the heart of downtown at Jefferson and Main Street. There's a ton of shopping right in this area, just off of Jefferson. Um, you got the Starbucks behind me, the Giordano's for deep dish pizza, Filson men's clothing right behind me as well. Um, and just a lot of other different places to go shop. So if that's something that you're into, you can definitely find it here. Okay, so we're standing at the top of Rotary Hill. It may not look very big, but when I was a kid, I used to think this was the largest sledding hill in the history of the country. Uh, but you can see the Millennium Tower that was built in the year 2000. It's a bell tower, really cool. Um, and then you can see downtown Naperville from up here, as well as Centennial Beach right through the trees. Another beautiful fall day here in downtown Naperville. You can see the Millennium Tower just behind me. And I'm walking over this bridge that covers over the DuPage River. You might have recognized this from the floating down the DuPage River on my kayak video that I did, which you can watch right up there. But it's just a really, really cool place because it's so beautiful. Natural landscape with the river and the different trails and bike paths that they have in this area. Located just outside of downtown Naperville is Naper Elementary School, built in 1929. This is one of the two original elementary schools in Naperville, Ellsworth Elementary being the other one. All right, now I'm walking through the northwest section of downtown Naperville. This is a little subdivision um, just off of downtown. You can see the original homes that were originally in this, this neighborhood behind me, um, and they've now replaced them with some beautiful manor homes and some just really modern, sleek looking houses. I would say they started building these homes maybe about 15 years ago. Um, so you can still find lots uh, if you're interested in that 400,000 range, but most of these homes will be pushing a million plus, if not much more than that. 
Uh, this particular area will go to Naperville North High School, which is just on the other side of the tracks, and you're probably about a quarter, anywhere from a quarter to a half mile outside of downtown Naperville. I'm walking through Centennial Beach Park, located just outside of Centennial Beach and downtown Naperville. It's an enormous park with different pavilions, playgrounds, and the DuPage River is just on the other side of these trees along with the Riverwalk Path, so it's a cool place just to come out, enjoy the space with your family, friends, and be in nature for the afternoon. Located just outside of downtown Naperville and directly behind me is Edwards Hospital. This is a fantastic place for physicians, doctors, nurses uh, to work because it's one of the largest hospitals in the Chicago suburbs with many, many clinics and hospitals located in the Edwards Elmhurst network. And you can actually see downtown Naperville and the Millennium Carillon Tower in the distance. Just across the street from Rotary Hill, the Carillon, and Water Street is Naperville Central High School, the alma mater of my fiance. Um, I'm just outside of the football stadium and you can see the school directly behind me. And this is located in District 203, so any of these neighborhoods di directly around downtown Naperville are primarily gonna be Naperville Central or Naperville North High School. I'm just out front Naperville Station townhouses. These are directly next to the DuPage Children's Museum and the Naperville train stop, which is literally right behind here. So if you're a commuter and you need to get to a different suburb or into the city's loop, this is a fantastic location to be. Uh, price point average is about 500,000 or just a little bit above that. Um, they are three stories, but I have been in several units where there is an elevator. So if that's something you need, don't wanna walk upstairs all the time, that's definitely an option for you. We are about three blocks from downtown Naperville. So it's about five to 10 minute walk. This is Naperville North and directly across the street is Washington Junior High. I'm standing just out front of the Naperville train station, which you can see directly behind me. This is a fantastic commuter's paradise if you live anywhere within the downtown area because you can quickly get out of your house in the morning, get on the train, head to work, whether you work in a different suburb or downtown Chicago, you can be down there within about a 35 minute train um, on the express. And I'm actually standing right out front of the DuPage Children's Museum. Uh, it's an awesome facility for your little ones to kind of explore their creativity. And it's located right here in Naperville, just off the train line. The neighborhood I grew up in until I was about eight years old, the Naperville Historic District, located in the northeast section of downtown Naperville. It sits directly between downtown Naperville and the Naperville train line, so it's a fantastic location to get pretty much wherever you want. A lot of these houses were built in the early 20th century. You can see just behind me the American Foursquare style, bungalow craftsman style builds. Um, the average price point in the neighborhood is about 600,000. Within the last few years, there have been a few teardowns, so so you might get lucky and get a lot here in this neighborhood, but for the most part, they want to keep these preserved as much as possible. Ellsworth Elementary School is also located directly in the neighborhood, so you can walk the kiddos to and from school. East Highlands neighborhood located to the southeast of Naperville. This is probably one of the most desirable neighborhoods to be in right now. Um, homes used to look like that little ranch house directly behind me and th for the last probably 15 years or so they've torn them down and built up these huge houses like this. Uh, Highlands Elementary School is located just behind me. That's the elementary school that I went to and North Central College athletic facilities and dorms are directly behind me. You can see the football stadium, the baseball field, and the softball field.
One of the coolest things about living in downtown Naperville is the access to all the parks and facilities. I'm actually in Knock Park, literally located directly next door to Naperville Central High School. You can actually see Edwards Hospital in the distance over there, Naperville Central on the other side of this fence, and the Millennium Caroline Tower over there on the other side of those tennis courts. Knock Park features this turf field that was actually built just this year. Several pickleball courts, baseball fields, including Little League, Pony League and the Naperville Central Red Hawks home baseball stadium and softball stadium. And it has plenty of different soccer fields, playgrounds, and really, really cool facilities. All right, wouldn't it be a downtown Naperville video if I didn't mention Nichols Library located directly behind me. It's the oldest of the three public libraries here in the city of Naperville. And it sits directly across the street from the Riverwalk and Water Street which is a really cool location. They have a ton of different programs for kids and adults to learn different programs and activities. But I'm just gonna walk over here to the Riverwalk, enjoy my fruit smoothie I got from downtown Naperville at Red Mango, and just enjoy the rest of my afternoon. I seriously don't understand what people talk about when they say it's get, it gets cold here in the Chicagoland. It's over 70. It's been like this for the last nine days. It's fall and the weather is absolutely beautiful. Hey, if you're ever thinking about making a move here to enjoy this awesome weather, enjoy this awesome downtown area in Naperville, I'm always available by phone, text, email, days, nights, weekends, and I would just love for the opportunity to have a phone conversation with you and help you in any way possible with your move. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.